Hi, this is Josh Olson, and you're watching Trailers from Hell. There were millions of movies about World War II made during World War II, but America made precious few films about Vietnam while that war was actually happening. It was like the third rail for Hollywood. There were a few small independent films. Um, there's The Losers uh, with William Smith about a bunch of Hell's Angels who go to Vietnam to rescue their buddy. And then there's an amazing film called Welcome Home Soldier Boys starring Joe Don Baker that if they had a trailer, I'd have done a commentary for ages ago. Absolutely incredible film, worth seeking out. Um, but there was this whole long period where studios didn't go near it. And then in the late 70s, that started to change. And we got movies like Coming Home and uh, The Deer Hunter and, of course, The Great Apocalypse Now. This one uh, is one of those films. It gets a little bit lost in the shuffle, which is a shame because it's a really, really great movie. This is Who'll Stop the Rain. A week ago, they were strangers. An hour ago, they were lovers. Now, they are targets. Closer towards the end of the 70s, there were some uh, darker indie films that dealt with Vietnam too, like Boys and Company C and Go Tell the Spartans, which are well worth seeking out. This movie, even though it's a big studio film, kind of falls in with those movies. It has a kind of indie vibe to it that's, that's really satisfying. The director was Carol Reich, who was Czech, but worked in England. He started out making the kitchen sink masterpiece Saturday night and Sunday morning, went on to do Morgan, a suitable case for treatment, and several other films before coming to America, where he sort of shifted gears and made very different movies. Um, um, the Gambler, for instance, The French Lieutenant's Woman. This is actually, I think, my favorite of all of his movies. It's based on the novel Dog Soldiers by Robert Stone, which is well worth reading. And uh, it stars the very great Nick Nolte. This was his first real movie after he exploded on the screen. I should say his first real performance after he exploded on the screen in Rich Man, Poor Man. He went on from that to do uh, The Deep, which is fun, but doesn't really give you a sense of his talents. He's absolutely incredible in this. It's got an amazing supporting cast, Jonathan Banks, Richard Mazur, Charles Hayde. If you blink, you'll miss Wings Hauser, Ray Sharkey, incredible dialogue. And the supporting performances are phenomenal too. Michael Moriarty, who's always great, and Tuesday Weld, who's just, I feel like every year that went by, she got more and more interesting as an actress. It tells the story of a Vietnam vet, uh, played by Nolte, who smuggles two kilos of heroin into the United States at the behest of his friend, Michael Moriarty, who's a journalist. And then everything, as it does in every drama in the 70s, goes terribly, terribly wrong. The chemistry between Nick Nolte and Tuesday Weld, who's in fact married to Michael Moriarty, is palpable and helps really fuel this movie a lot. The dialogue is fantastic. Most of it comes from the book. I just, I can't speak highly enough about this film. It recently came out on a nice new Blu-ray. It is worth seeking out. Nick Nolte, Tuesday Weld, Michael Moriarty. I got it! I got it all! Who'll stop the rain? <laughs>